We're joined right now by Alex Don, PhD speaker at the Symposium of Mechano Sensors, arriving from Stanford University, leaving California for the chilly climate of Baltimore. Hope That's you're right. well prepared. <laughs> Little, not as bad as New York, though. That's the good news. Mm -hmm. You are a speaker at Sunday's Symposium, of course, on Mechano Sensors. So give us just a quick overview of what it is that you're going to be addressing at that symposium. Well, the big question that, that interests me and my laboratory is understanding how cells sense and then respond to mechanical cues, and that interests a lot of people at this meeting. Uh, what we're specifically talking about is how the cells sense uh, mechanical forces communicated by a cell-cell adhesion molecule called cadherin that links cells together. Until a few years ago, we didn't even know if cells could tell if one of their neighbors was pulling on them or not. And now we've sorted out in some level of molecular detail how mechanical signaling at cellular junctions actually occurs. So that's fascinating within itself. And then the next challenge is to take a practical application of that knowledge mm -hmm. and direct it further. So how do you do that? Absolutely. It's actually the practical applications that drive a lot of the interest uh, personally and for my students. So you and I and everybody that we know all started out as one uh, fertilized egg. And that cell grows and divides and builds itself into tissues and organs and then people. Now part of the way in which that occurs is via chemical signaling between cells and that's the province of developmental biology. But what's really important is to build functional architectures, these beautiful structures that make us who we are. And so I hope that by understanding how these mechanical signals in between cells work, we can understand how, for instance, something like a hand or a finger or even a functional skin uh, develops through the cooperation of many millions of cells. So it's almost an unending amount of practical application in terms of the human physique and development in so many ways, right? What we would like to do, uh, myself and many others in the field, is to make uh, bioengineering or tissue engineering as predictive and reliable as aerospace, where you don't build a hundred 747s before you get even one that can fly into the air, right? You can design it in a computer and be pretty certain it works. That's the long-term vision, that's the dream. And in order to make that dream possible, I think that we really need to understand how the cells function. Uh, in some level of molecular detail, and we try to contribute to that. If there's one thing that you want the attendees to walk away from the symposium with that you're addressing, what would that be? Well, I think that an addressable but big question is how do the cells build not from one protein or two or three, as people like me common, commonly study, but how do you build complexes that have 10 or 20 or 50 different proteins all cooperating to fulfill a complex physiological function. We've made a little bit of progress towards answering that question, but I think it's a fascinating problem that needs the input of lots of people. Right. Alex Dunn, thank you so much for taking time well, to meet for with us, with me. and uh, we welcome to hear your information. Thanks.